Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Amanda. I make YouTube videos and put them on this channel and they really have no rhyme or reason or sense to them, so if you want to subscribe and follow along on my nonsense, be my guest. For today's video, I thought since I was turning over a new leaf on this channel with my new style of vlogs and hopefully better editing, I thought that I would do a 50 facts about me video just so you guys can kind of get to know me if you care or like that sort of thing. So, since it's so nice and the lighting in my room is bomb for some reason, although watch this look totally crappy in Premiere, I'm gonna do that. So, here we go. 50 facts about me you probably didn't care about. My favorite body part is my eyes. Right now, at this moment in time, there is no other part of my body that I actually like except my eyes. So there you have it. My least favorite part of my body is my thighs because they rub together and they touch and they're large and I just don't like them. They stick out funny and I can't seem to lose the weight. I wear only one contact. I wear a contact in this eye and nothing in this eye because ever since I was a little kid this eye has been really lazy and my brain literally just doesn't make it do the work it's supposed to so I wear a contact to kind of like make my brain make my eye work if that makes sense. My greatest fear is financial insecurity. My second greatest fear is spiders. I cannot draw at all. It's why my bullet journal always looks so horrible is because I have no artistic talent whatsoever. I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't sketch, I can't letter, I can't do anything. Although I am trying to learn how to do calligraphy, but watch me fail at that too. I could read aloud at the age of four, which I guess is an uncommonly early age to be able to read out loud. And the reason why my family knew I could read out loud is because on my fourth birthday, I stood up in front of my entire extended family and read the entire entirety of a birthday card aloud and my mom was just as shocked as everybody else in the room. I was a very rowdy, obnoxious child up until about seventh grade, at which point I hit puberty. My life was very miserable in seventh grade and I stopped having much of a personality and that's how I am today. My ears have never been pierced. Ever since I was 10, I've only had one close friend at a time. From ages 10 to 14, I had one close friend. And then from ages 14 to 18, I had another close friend. My father and I have an amiable but not close relationship while my mother and I have a very, very close Lorelai and Rory Gilmore-esque relationship. I have wanted to be a journalist since I was six years old, and now I am a journalist. My favorite nonfiction book is All the President's Men. I have two favorite movies, Pacific Rim and Spotlight. My favorite film series is Star Wars. I don't have favorite bands, I just have favorite like aesthetic sounds. So I like different genres and different sounds, but not necessarily like bands themselves, if you know what I mean. I judge each song on like a case-by-case -case basis, is what I'm saying. I will graduate with a Bachelor of Arts, which is a four-year degree in the United States, before I can legally drink alcohol. I have never been to a football game in which my team wins. My favorite poet is Richard Sykin. He's a modern poet and his stuff's really good. It's like depressing, but it's really good. I used fan fiction to teach myself how to write creatively. I actually still write fan fiction to this day. I still have my old fan fiction. It's horrible. I don't like reading it. I've been journaling in one form or another since age 10 and I started bullet journaling at the beginning of this year because I realized that trying to keep a planner and a journal in the same place was getting really, really stressful. So I thought, why not just put them together? My poetry has been published published both by an entity outside of myself and I've also self-published. The first article of mine that ever made the front page of any newspaper was really really boring. It was my student newspaper and it was about like financial ratings of the university and it was so lame but it made the front page. My hair is naturally wavy. This is natural. This is just kind of like what it does. I danced for eight years. I did ballet, tap, and jazz. I always wanted to do modern and hip-hop, but I never did, and I'm trying to do it now, and it's really hard now that I'm older. <laughs> I text using all proper capitalization, punctuation, spelling, etc. My family knows that I'm in a hurry when I'm texting in abbreviations because I, like, never do that. I have been on Tumblr since the age of 13. Yes, it's been six years. Sometimes I still question what I'm doing with my life. I've been blogging since age 12. I have absolutely no idea how to use Snapchat. I had a Snapchat, I failed at using it, and now I just don't have it anymore. Having an Instagram theme is really stressful, so I stopped doing it. My favorite fiction book is a toss-up between Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I am on my fifth internship right now. People tell me that one of my best qualities is my empathy, which I don't get because I feel like I'm dead inside. I am very introverted. And the only reason I feel comfortable putting myself on the internet is that there's no guarantee anyone's watching it and also it doesn't require me having a face-to-face -face interaction with you, so that's cool. I will graduate in December. 
Yay! I really, really love technology. Don't know why, because I'm always like low-key afraid I'm gonna break the stuff, but I like it anyway. My handwriting is really messy. People think it's neat, but it's actually like certifiably very messy. I really like web design. I have my own website. I did it myself. It's pretty sweet. I really, really, really dislike PR people. My dream job is to be a reporter on the spotlight team. My favorite color is purple, but my favorite color to wear is black and navy, hence the navy shirt. The very first job I ever had was at Subway, and yes, it was the quintessential crappy teenage job. I still have my home phone number from where I was growing up memorized, and I have my old address memorized, but I don't remember any of the other addresses where I lived. I want to learn American Sign Language and I'm trying, but all the, like, the things online that I used to learn, they like make you pay at a certain point in time and I don't want to pay, so <laughs> it's kind of hard. I also want to learn calligraphy. That's not going so well either because I can't draw. I absolutely despise group projects. My greatest flaw is my pride. My greatest strength is my discernment. I really like editing videos and I find it very therapeutic, which is why I spend a lot of my time doing it. Okay guys, so that was it for my 50 facts about me. I hope it was interesting in some way and if it wasn't, let me know in the comments. I will try to be more scintillating in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. See you later. Bye.